Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, for almost a year, there was an escalating pattern of violence directed towards the United States and other Western targets in Libya. Attacks on the consulate in Benghazi, attacks and assassination attempts on the British ambassador, attacks on the International Red Cross, attacks on courthouses, judges assassinated, culminating on September the 11th in the murder of four Americans, including our ambassador to Libya. Before those four murders, Mr. Chairman, just a few weeks before that, our embassy in Libya said this to the Department of State, the security condition in Libya remains unpredictable, volatile, and violent. So, Mr. Chairman, despite what would appear to any reasonably objective observer as an escalating pattern of violence, including sophistication, coordination, and management, this administration blamed the murder of our ambassador and three others on a video. Don't take my word for it, Mr. Chairman. Let's look at what Ambassador Rice herself said. Our current assessment is that what happened in Benghazi was, quote, in fact, initially a spontaneous reaction. I don't know what the phrase in fact means in diplomatic legalese. I can tell you what it means in a courtroom, Mr. Chairman. It means it's a fact. And she went on national television and she said, not as this ambassador has said, that I'm not going to speculate, that I've got to get all the information. She said, in fact, this was a spontaneous reaction to what had just transpired hours before in Cairo, almost a copycat of the demonstrations against our facility in Cairo, which were prompted, of course, Mr. Chairman, by a video is what she said. And then she proceeds to say the attack was spontaneous. I can think of few things, Mr. Chairman, more antithetical to spontaneity than a 12-month-long prologue of violence in Libya. And then she said she relied solely and squarely on the information the intelligence community provided. Mr. Chairman, I would like to have another hearing where we can ask Ambassador Rice under oath, who told you what when? You're going to blame the intelligence committee? You come before this committee and you tell us who told you it was a video. Who in the intelligence community said it? Who in the diplomatic community blamed this on a video? And then we moved to Jay Carney, who's the spokesperson for the leader of the free world. And this is what he said, Mr. Chairman. I'm saying based on information that we, our initial information that includes all information, we saw no evidence to back up claims by others that this was a pre-planned or premeditated attack. What we saw was evidence that it was sparked by the reaction to this video. And that is what we know thus far based on evidence, concrete evidence, close quote. Mr. Chairman, uh, you know that in former life, I spent a little time in the courtroom. So when I hear the phrase concrete evidence, it means something to me. That's even stronger language than simply saying something is in fact. So two representatives of this administration gave demonstrably false statements, not just to us, but to our fellow citizens on national television. Now, is the explanation for those demonstrably false statements, as my colleague from Florida just asked, was it negligence? Was it just a reckless disregard for the truth? Or was it more nefarious than that? Mr. Chairman, the American people are reasonable. People understand investigations take time. People don't expect you to speculate until you have all the facts. What they will not forgive, Mr. Chairman, is being misled. We want our questions answered, and I want them answered by the people that went out before the American people and sought to mislead them by blaming this on a video when there is no evidence, concrete or otherwise, to support the assertions made by this administration. Mr. Chairman, I just had a conversation with Jason Chaffetz out back, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. He still gets emotional talking about what he saw in Libya. There were four brave Americans who died under circumstances that we can scarcely fathom. The terror, the fear, the anarchy of being killed in that fashion. They did what their country asked them to do, they stood post under dangerous circumstances even after requests for security were denied. They stood their post. The least we can do is stand this meager post that we've been assigned and demand that this administration speak the truth to the people it's supposed to serve, 
This was never about a video. It was never spontaneous. This is terror. And I want to know why we were lied to. And I yield back.